What is up my fellow net dwellers, Couch Band here, and today I'm teaching you how to mod Elden Ring to 10 via Steam. That's right, you guys asked for it, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Just like always, whenever we're mining Steam game, first thing up is to get to the folder. We're just going to right click here, manage, browse the local files, boom. Here's our Elden Ring game. Now, the big thing to note is do not run this online. Why? Well, because if you run this online and you see this little bear right here, this guy, with mods, that means you're going to get banned. And we don't want that. So we're going to need to make sure that we get rid of Easy Anti-Cheat or disable Easy Anti-Cheat for our modded file. But we're also probably going to want to have our unmodded options still available. So let's go ahead and start covering this. All right, we're going to go ahead and do this the DayZ method, which is we come out to the common folder where Elden Ring is. We're going to actually just copy the full folder, and we're just going to paste it in the same. So you got an Elden Ring copy now. We're going to just change it to Elden Ring modded. And that is going to be our differentiation for our modded game versus our non-modded game. And we'll create a separate shortcut for the modded one as well. And we should be able to bounce between them. Uh, be careful using your modded save on a unmodded game because the EAC might tag you. And yeah, so just be careful you don't cross saves there. Might get you banned. All right, now let's just rename this to Elden Ring Modded. Let's get modding. First up... We have the issue that we ran into with good old-fashioned Dark Souls. However, we don't have the solution available yet that we did for Dark Souls. So Dark Souls, we were able to use the mod engine to do injection of our different software that we wanted. This one, we don't have that option. So instead, we're going to need to get UXM. Most of the mods will actually have a link to it. There's a place out on Discord where you can download the UXM. I don't necessarily like the fact I can't just snag it on Mod Nexus, but I'm sure it'll become available before too long. Uh, you can find the link to this in the description, of course. So, show open files. Ah, show in folder. There we go. All right, so we've got the quick hack here. Let's go ahead and open this guy. We're going to just copy this. You got your good old-fashioned readme. Quick hacking modifications of UXM24, Elden Ring supports, blah, blah, blah. So this is basically just, they took the original UXM by TJK, TKGP, which you should remember from Sekiro, you should remember from Dark Souls 3, so on and so forth. This will just unpack the game. And we need to make sure, again, we don't run anti-cheat because we're going to get in trouble. So let's go ahead and just grab this real quick. Right click copy. We're just going to paste it over here with our Dark Souls modded folder. Let's go ahead and run UXM. This pop up here about this being an unknown publisher, all that means it's a risk. And unlike normally where we have a bio validated copy via Mod Nexus, not so much this time around. So trust this at your own risk. Uh, I can't make the decision for you, but this is how you're going to need to unpack. Elden Ring. So it's currently looking for Sekiro. So I don't even know. We're going to change that. We go to our Elden Ring game folder here. And we go ahead and paste that in here instead. And we're going to open that. So now we're going to unpack our Elden Ring file. Which is going to be a bulky thing. Apparently they're saying it's like 101 gigabytes. So this might take a few seconds. Okay, now that we've managed to unpack everything, let's go ahead and make sure we don't get banned. So let me close out of this. We're now going to be using the Offline EAC by Luke Yui. Basically all this is going to do is it's going to launch the game in such a way that anti-cheat is disabled and it's in offline mode. That way we don't get banned by running this unpack thing. So let's go ahead and download this real fast. Okay, and then let's go ahead and grab this and we're just going to train, move this over into our modded folder.
And let's go ahead and send a shortcut to the desktop real quick. We're going to just rename this to modded Elven. And if we launch this and it says it's detected unusual activity, we've got it right. So let's go ahead and run anyway. Modded Elden Ring is running. This should say unusual activity. We don't have the bear pop up, which is a great sign. And we are in offline mode. Okay, perfect. So that's successfully launched. Now I'm going to go ahead and have to actually play the game for a little bit to be able to show off the mod. So I'm going to be pausing here and getting back to you here after I've done some running. Let's go ahead and get back to it. I played through the first two mini bosses, but I have yet to unlock a skirt. So I'm just hoping this gives it to us right off the start. So first thing up is we need to run UXM. Click patch. All right, so suppose we were patched. Then we need to create a text file. And we need to call this steam underscore app ID, which normally Steam already has this. It's kind of weird we gotta add that, but that's okay. We come in here and we just enter this value into it. All right, now we need to go into, uh, so for anybody unfamiliar with UXM, UXM just downloads all the files from the UXE, at which point we use model replacement on it or asset replacement. So for sword skirts and Elden Ring, let's go ahead and go out and download it. Slow download. Okay, read me. Found the picture you may explore you on. This game is already published, blah, blah, blah. Modified output list. So this is basically just his install instructions. So we're gonna go ahead and just ignore that and we're gonna go into parts. All right. And here is our parts. So we need to go ahead and move those into our corresponding folder. Which, let's see here, does he provide a route? Sorry, does he or she provide a route? Uh, da, da, da. Yep, game parts and drop the contents in the folder. So let's go ahead and go back to our game. It's in game, parts, and then we just drag and drop this stuff. And that's what we wanted to see was the replace. After we replace these assets, I believe that's everything we need. Yeah, that's everything we need to actually launch the game. Let's go ahead and launch the modded version and see if we can't find a difference. And that image, the armor went all the way down to her knees, however, now it is sitting about thigh high. So this did trim the armor up quite a bit. Uh, I think there's a total of about 10 or so different armors this mod modifies. One of them is the Warrior Champion set. The other one is the Noble set. And I don't know for the rest. As I said, it's kind of in Chinese. But anyways, that's how you mod Elden Ring using UXM. Uh, there's some other ways to mod it, but as far as the most general mods that you're going to run into, UXM is going to be your route, and this is how you do it. You guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.